Hi everyone, it is time for my favorites of the month, that month being September, and yes, I'm filming from a new location. It's not necessarily as pretty, I think, a background as my family room, so I might have to work on that. I am in the sitting area of my bedroom, so behind me you see my bedroom, and I think Bosley's, Bosley's on the bed, so you can just see Bosley. Anyway, so I'm going to just run through with my favorites. I've got some drugstore and not drugstore and everything in between, so let's get started. Okay, I want to start with face products, and one that has quickly become a favorite is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Powder. I have it in the color Classic Ivory. It's just a really surprisingly finely milled pressed powder. It has this little sponge thingy there, and it has great coverage. It very much reminds me of the MAC MSF Natural, and it's handy to have in the bag, and it's really surprisingly good coverage for a powder. Another face product that I have been, I think this might be the most mentioned product on my channel of all time. It's an oldie but a goodie. I just bought a new one. It's the Eyes Lips Face Elf Golden Bronzer, and I picked it up at the grocery store today for $3. Let's take the protective lid off. There you go. There's my new one. My old one had a huge... I had hit pan across most of the uh, colors, so it's time for a new one. It's just a really great way to kind of give a little glow to the face, warm it up without being too shimmery or too matte. kind of evens everything out, so I highly recommend this. Again, another fifth product is, again, another product I haven't used in a really long time, but it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder, not the blush. I have it in Diffused Light. And I think it makes a beautiful um, highlighter as well as, um, actually I'm going to use it right now, as well as just to highlight under the eyes, actually to kind of set your under eye concealer. I don't recommend doing it with your finger, <laughs> but in a pinch, it just adds a nice glow to under your eyes, kind of wakes you up. Or you can use it if, as a very subtle highlighter on your cheekbones, Cupid's bow, and whatnot. Um, and then this is new, a newer favorite, I haven't been using it very long. And it is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Foundation. I've been trying a lot of foundations and lately, and I have a couple more on my list. For any drugstore or high-end, this is actually a really good foundation. The coverage is pretty decent. I'd say it's light to medium. I'm not entirely sure if it's buildable yet. It's supposed to be anti-aging. It has retinol and vitamin C in it. I don't really care so much. I don't buy foundation for the... Um, properties as far as anti-aging properties. I just want it to cover up whatever I don't want people to see on my skin and I want it to last all day. And I'm wearing it now and I'd say it's kind of a satin to dewy finish which I'm actually preferring these days. And I really like it. I like it as much if not more than the high-end ones I'm testing right now which I don't want to discuss until I've formed a full opinion on. So there's that. And this was recommended me to me, not specifically, but by Patty. Um, and I will link Patty's channel. It's like I've never heard it out loud, but it looks like it says Rockstar Mom. That's how I interpret it. I will link her channel below. She is, if you want anti-aging and grown-ass women kind of videos, she's your woman. But she's stunningly beautiful and way more classy than me. So give her channel a peek. On to, I don't know where to go. Let's do lips. So I was using two lip liners this month. One, the Charlotte Tilbury is nice, but it's not going on my favorites list. It will not be a repurchase. The other one I didn't buy, it was a sample, and I'm actually planning on going to Sephora this week and picking up um, a full-size version of, if not this shade, one of the other ones. And this is the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip, and the shade I got was 3C. These lip liners are amazing. This is just a pretty standard, almost like a 90s lip color, so very untrend to give out as a sample. These are, I don't know if it's waterproof, but they sure set, and they stay put, and that's what I want in a lip liner, and they're smooth and creamy and easy to work with. So I'm glad Sephora gave me the sample because I'm going to be spending some money there and getting a full-size one. And then two lip products I've been using a lot this month is the uh, Revlon, what are these? Oh my gosh, complete blank. Lip butter, good lord, in Sugar Plum. It's a nice fall color, but a little sheer. I have it on now. Layered with, for some reason I couldn't make up my mind which shade I wanted, so I put them both on my face. This is the L'Oreal... Oh, these are the ones, L'Oreal Purple, it's Purple Prelude, it's their knockoff version of the um, YSL Glossy Stain. 
I mean, I know it's owned by the same company, but I will tell you that these do not compare. I don't care what anybody says. These are not the same as the YSL Glossy Stains, but it is a nice product all by itself, and um, it's a great fall color, but if I had to pick, I would definitely pick the YSL over the L'Oreal. Just saying. Sometimes it is worth more. Um, okay, let's talk about eye stuff. So I was a little overzealous in my eyebrow bleaching earlier this month and they went a little orange. So to help uh, hide that from everyone, I'm reaching for the Benefit Gimme Brow. I have a love-hate relationship with this thing because I love how it goes, I love the finished effect, but I don't love how even this teeny tiny brush I still get, especially, mostly the arch, oopsie, I just did it, see that? Um, I get it on my skin. So you definitely need to have a Q-tip handy to clean up your mess. But I love how it lasts all day. Once it's on, it's on. And um, my brows don't look like they have a ton of product on. And if I'm in a real hurry, I don't do anything but this. Usually if I'm taking my time, I do brow pencil. And then I use this to set and kind of counteract the color that I have put in my eyebrows. Anyway. Just as a note, I was not paying attention. I was watching a YouTube video and I didn't pay attention to the time. So, it happens. Other eye products. Two palettes that one is new and one I've had for a really long time. I just kind of forgot I had it. The new one is the, it's new to me, the Lorac Unzipped Palette, which has been reviewed ad nauseum here on YouTube. If you are still debating between the Urban Decay Naked 3 whether or not you should get it or get another palette, get this one. These are all similar in um, the color family. I'm sure someone has done a comparison video. I may actually do that at some point and do the swatches. Maybe that's a good one for the blog, actually. Um, but these are all in that rosy toned family, but way more wearable shades. And there are one, two, three, four matte shades in here as well. So it's they're just beautiful, easy colors, and many of them, especially these two, I can wear just all over the lid all by itself. So very wearable if you just want to do a one shade look. And the other one, I've had this for well over a year at least. It's the New Tude by The Balm. And I got the, the one with the naked girls on it because I thought it was funny. Anyway, these are great colors. And the one that I reach for more often than not is this um, Snobby. You would not think this is the most wearable shade as a highlighter. I mean, that looks crazy, but when you blend it out on the skin, it gives just a warm glow to your um, brow bone without being too white or too ivory, and uh, just give it a go. But my other favorite shade in here would have to be, um, well, I don't know. I like them all. They're all great. They're, again, in that similar color family. There's a lot of warmth to these, so if you're a warm tone eyeshadow lover, this is a great little palette to pick up. And then, last couple random bits. Oh, I have one more eye thing. I can't remember what YouTube video I saw this in, but someone was talking about how their skin tone is so fair that even the lighter colors really don't, they kind of just blend on their lids. So, this sounds crazy, but um, they put a white base on their eyelid first, and then anything that goes on top really, I hate to say the phrase, but it pops out. And so, I picked up the NYX eyeshadow base in white, I believe it's called. Just white. And it says for a hundred times more vivid color. Um, base camp for true stay on, stay put, and stay long eyeshadow colors. So it's in this little pot, and it looks like that. And a little goes a really long way, like, like that much for the whole lid, easily. Doesn't look like much, but it really gives a nice even white color to the lids, and then when you put on your lighter colors, for instance, like, um, you know, these kind of shades here. They really do pop out on your eyes. So that was nice to have. And then um, a couple other extra things. I have picked up the Colleen Rothschild Balancing Gel Cleanser because there are just a handful of products that she makes that I still don't own, so I needed to rectify that. Um, I alternate this with my Body Shop Tea Tree Facial Wash, which I still love. Um, but this just is the nicest it has the most, I know it sounds crazy, but it reminds me of Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo, or is it just Johnson? Whatever. Baby shampoo. And it's fresh, and it wakes you up in the morning. It doesn't dry my skin out, but it doesn't leave it too moisturized. It's just 
I love this and if I'm also doing like where I've done a makeup tutorial and I want to wash my face midday, this is what I reach for. It's not as heavy as like the Radiant Cleansing Balm which is like a pretty heavy duty, you know, really work it into the skin thing. This is just one pump, easy, it's in a nice plastic um, container and I re uh, this smell is just, it reminds me of childhood. I don't know, I just, I adore it. And I know I had more to tell you. Okay, yes. Um, I don't know if I've specifically mentioned my love for this necklace. Um, this is, now, there's some debate on how to pronounce the name of the company, but I have decided it's Gorgiana, and if it's not, then the people from Gorgiana can tell me differently. But I have a few of their pieces, and this is the Tainer Bar Necklace. It's T-A-N-E-R. This is the small one. I have worn this pretty much every single day since I've owned it, and I love it so much that I just ordered it in silver. So I will link to both the gold and silver below. The price is the same for both, it's $60. You can get them at Nordstrom. Um, I just, it's, it's the most beautiful, it just lays right in the hollow of my throat. It's great, I can still layer necklaces on top of it. It's if worn by itself, I feel like it's very elegant, and I love it. And then the other accessories that I have added a couple to my collection are some more Alex and Annie bangle bracelets. I'm wearing just my silver ones today. Specifically, this month, I picked up the Star of David, and thought being the Jewish holidays this month, that would be a good one to add. And um, I don't know what this one is called, but they're little, they're little beads, and they're kind of textured and I really like them, and I want to get it in gold as well. So I just love how easy they are, and um, they're reasonably priced. They make great gifts. I've gotten a bangle or two for other people as gifts. They're great gifts, and um, they're just fun. They're fun to play with. So those, oh, wait, there's one more favorite. Uh, a lot of you have been asking if I've been watching the Outlander series are, on TV. Are you kidding me? Of course I have, several times over. Uh, if you are relatively new to my channel, you might not know my love for the Outlander book series by Diana Gabaldon, but um, if you don't, I will link my review way years ago of the first book in the series down there. Uh, it has been made into a TV series on the Stars Network. I don't know how people who don't read the books, who haven't read the books, feel about the series, but I love it. I love seeing people that I feel like I know in real life, even though they're not real people. I love seeing it come to life. It's not entirely true to the book, which is excellent because then I'm not getting bored by it and knowing what's going to happen. There's a little, couple little twists and things. It's just, it's so beautifully made. The scenery is amazing. It's filmed in Scotland. It makes me miss Scotland so much. I visited summer of 2013. I went with my family uh, through Scotland. We road tripped through the Highlands and I'm losing my voice, excuse me, but hands down the best trip I've ever taken in my entire life. I will link that vlog down below as well, and if I can pick one place to go back, it would be Scotland. The most beautiful land I've ever seen, the friendliest people I've ever met, food, hmm. well, you know, the whiskey was good, that's all I can say. Anyway, so I'm loving that series, and the mid-series finale was just this last weekend. You can watch all the episodes on Stars on their website or on demand if you have that opportunity. I'm going to say goodbye. I have no voice. I don't know what is in the air. I'm dying. <clears throat> so I'm going to go get some water. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. And Miss Budget Beauty, who some of you may already watch. If you don't, she is a YouTuber in the UK. She is absolutely lovely, and I think we're going to